The Lord is glorious in his saints, so come let us worship. Our processional hymn from the Blue Hymn Book, hymn number 208. Who are these like stars appearing? These before God's throne stand. Each a golden crown is wearing. Who are all this glorious land? Alleluia, our face sing, praising love their heavenly King. Who are these in dazzling brightness, clothed in God's own righteousness? These whose robes of purest whiteness shall their luster still possess. Still untouched by time's road hand, whence come all this glorious band? These are they who have contended for their Savior's honor long, wrestling until life was ended, falling not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustain, triumph through the land have gained. These are they whose hearts were riven, sore with hope and anguish strive, who in prayerful awe have striven with the God they glorify. Now their painful conflict for God has bid them weep no more. These the Almighty contemplating, he has preached before him stand, soul and body always waiting, and night at his father. Now in God's most holy rites, bless the and make for his face. Let us pray together the collect of pure. <clears throat> Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is thy conduct. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy upon us, and write both these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and, and earth peace, the will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord the only God the Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sin of the world, Receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only of the rights, the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect, Lesson, and Gospel for the Commemoration of All Saints' Day are found beginning on page 299. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has knit together
together thine elect in one communion and fellowship, in the mystical body of thy Son Christ our Lord. <coughs> Grant us grace so to follow thy blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those unspeakable joys which thou hast prepared for them that unfailingly love thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the lesson. The lesson is written in the seventh chapter of the Revelation to St. John the Divine, beginning at the ninth verse. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four living creatures, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto our God for ever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which have come out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Here ends the lesson. The gradual psalm is Psalm 34, verses 8 to 10, found on page 369. Psalm 34, verses 8 to 10, on page 369. Let us stand to say this together. <clears throat> oh, taste and see how gracious the Lord is. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye that are his saints. For they that fear him lack nothing. The lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they who seek the Lord shall want no matter of things that is good. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with us, The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is written in the fifth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the first verse. Glory be to you. Jesus, seeing the multitude, went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, life of life, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sat on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead. Whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son together as worship and glorify, who was made by the prophets. And I believe one not only in the Baptist and Apostolic Church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sin, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. From this week's lesson, from the book of Revelation, these are they who have come out of great tribulation. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. At one time or another, in one way or another, you've all experienced something like this. At one time or another, in one way or another, you've all had moments of fear or doubt, moments when the negativity or the criticism have been just too much to bear, moments of failure or disappointment, moments of pain or suffering or sorrow, maybe even moments of hunger for food or acceptance or forgiveness or for love. I know that you have because in some cases I've shared some of those kinds of moments with some of you. But be that true or not for you, they are moments that at one time or another come to us all. Try as we might, try as we do, these moments cannot be avoided forever. They are part of the experience common to all humanity, the experience of living in a broken world. So I wonder what we think when we hear the words of Christ in this week's Gospel. Words appointed to be read and prayed every year on the festival of all saints. Words that speak of the blessedness of those who are poor, and of those who mourn, and of those who are meek, and of those who hunger and thirst. I wonder how many of us have thought in those moments when the sorrow and the suffering and the fear have been too much to bear. I wonder how many of us have thought of ourselves in those dark and terrifying moments as blessed, literally as happy. Because that is what Christ is saying. Happy are those who are poor. Happy are those who mourn. Happy are those who hunger and thirst. Happy. Surely we can all see how this gospel passage makes sense here on All Saints Day. If we remember all that the saints have endured. We can see how a passage that speaks of poverty and grief and hunger and thirst makes sense when we recall those who endured exactly those kinds of things for the sake of their faith in Christ. But can we really believe that facing such moments of crisis and catastrophe are moments of blessing or happiness? Is that even remotely possible? But what if we were to think of it in this way? If we are honest... We have to acknowledge that no matter who we are, no matter how powerful or successful or rich or together we think we are, we all encounter eventually something more powerful than we are. We all encounter a moment, a time, a place over which we have no control at all. For some, that may come to us in the words of a doctor, telling us that there is nothing more that can be done. Or in the words of a spouse, telling us that it's over. Or in the words of a boss, telling us to pack up our stuff and to go home. Or in the words of a police officer, telling us that there's been an accident. 
We live in a fragile world. And as much as we can try to convince ourselves otherwise, our lives are incredibly fragile. We can try to insulate ourselves from such moments like so much emotional bubble wrap, but we cannot do so forever. So what can we do when these moments come? These unavoidable, inescapable moments of terror and sor sorrow and pain. Do we just despair? Do we just give up? Do we lash out in anger? That's what, that is what some would tell us to do. Curse God and die, as Job was once counseled. Do we just surrender to all that darkness with more darkness of our own? Or do we look for something greater? For something more powerful than the greatest darkness that we'll ever face? We remember all the saints on All Saints Day because they always point us to Christ. Their happiness came not because they magically avoided life's sorrows, but because they looked to Christ in their moments of trial and suffering and fear to make all things new. They trusted Christ's power in those moments when their own powers failed. They leaned on Christ in those moments when they could not stand on their own. And that, I think, is what Christ is telling us. Surely happiness comes in our moments of victory and success. We've all had those, and I pray that we will have many more yet. But happiness also comes to us, surprising as it may seem, in our moments of failure and doubt and trial. In those moments when we are forced to surrender the myth of personal invincibility and power and control. Those moments when we put our trust in something far more certain and sure in Christ's mercy, and Christ's love, and Christ's grace. Coming to know that our power lies not just in ourselves, but in Jesus Christ alone, is no admission of weakness, or failure, or defeat. It is a power greater than all other powers put together. And knowing that is a blessing and happiness beyond measure. A blessing and a happiness that all of this world's darkness can never overcome. Happy are those who are poor, in all the many different ways in which we can be poor, because in the poverty of our own strength, we find the richness of, richness of Christ's strength. Happy are those who mourn, in all the many different ways that we mourn, because in the reality of our own losses, we find a better hope in the Christ whose victory over death and sin is our victory over death and sin. Happy are those who hunger and thirst in all the many different ways in which we can hunger and thirst, because only in those times when we know the inadequacy of our own power can we find the true power that is ours in Christ alone. And happy are the saints, because they know that Christ is their life and their hope and their joy. Now to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost be ascribed all might, majesty, honor, glory, dominion, and power, this day and forevermore. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. All things come of thee. 
and of thy own heavenly kingdom. We offer this Holy Eucharist to the praise and glory of Almighty God and joyful thanksgiving for the witness of all, witness of all the saints of God who have nourished and nurtured God's people throughout the church's life and who remind us each and every day of what we can be and, by God, and are called to be and can be by God's grace. In our prayer this day for all of God's people, let us pray, saying, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. Heavenly Father, in every age you have raised up holy men and women to reflect the light of Christ and to teach us the way of holiness. We thank you for those who have taught the faith of Christ. Give understanding to those who study the faith that the church has handed on and clarity to those who communicate that faith in a changing world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for those who have been shepherds of your people. Give compassion and love to all deacons, priests, and bishops, especially David, our bishop, and to all those called to pastoral ministry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for those who have been Christian rulers in the world and for those who carry the good news to lands where it had not been before. Give wisdom to all who have power and influence among the nations and establish God's kingdom among people of every race. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for those who have been called to live in community. Establish mutual love among those drawn into fellowship in your service here in this parish, and bless with Christ's presence all the communities which we serve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for those who have lived out their vocation in family life. Give your grace to all who nurture children, and all who care for the aged, and enfold in your love all your daughters and sons. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for those who have brought wholeness through the medicine of the gospel. Give skill to all who minister healing and reconciliation in your name, and comfort all who cry out to you from any sort of distress. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for the noble army of martyrs. Keep under your protection those who are persecuted for the name of Christ, and acknowledge, we pray, those who have passed through death, trusting in your promises. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hasten, Lord, the day when people will come from east and west, from north and south, and sit at table in your kingdom, and we shall see your Son in his glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us remember in our prayers this day all who are diseased, all those who are sick, especially Peter, Dorothy, Anna, Megan, Richard, Aaron, Ruth, Lloyd, Donna, John, Wanda, Cynthia, Eva, Gail, Edmund, Mary, Esther, Sharon, Simone, Maureen, Derwin, Lionel, Griffin, Dale, Christopher, Eleanor, Kelly, Kevin, Rael, Marie, Pius, Cedric, Jerry, Debbie, Scott, Sarah, Ben, Michael, Pat, Philip, Terry, Aiden, Lisa, Brenda, Wayne, Alan, Graydon, Charles, Adam, Eric, Martin, Paige, Mindy, Wilfred, Teresa, Shane, Rochelle, Deanna, Sherry, Randy, Grace, Maxine, Melanie, Matt, Sheila, Paul, Gerald, Franklin, Hudson, Suvro, Dini, Joe, and Josephine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely, fearful, or sorrowing, for the hungry and homeless, for those who face temptation, doubt, and despair, for all those who suffer from natural disaster, for prisoners and those suffering the enslavement of addiction, and for all those who are in need of God's grace in other ways today, remembering Chelsea, Judy, Aaron, Courtney, Linda and Mary, Vanda, Wendy, Martha, Bobby Joe, Georgia, Joseph, Carol, David, Shauna, Ethel, Evelyn, Sam, Mabel, Shirley, Kay, Charlie, Maria, Sheridan, Ralph, Gerard, Carissa, Deanna, Sandra, Heather, Sean, Emma, Sandra and Randy, Brenda, Brian, Michelle, Jenna and Mitchell, Karen, Ashley and Darren. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us remember this day all the faithful departments, especially Kathy Rankin, Earl Clarence Blizzard, Edith Flynn, Mary Catherine Savoie, Faye Weber, Elizabeth Lou Hopper, Brian Michael Knox, Charles Francis, Jeffrey Peddle, Terence Young, and Noreen Sullivan. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. And that light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Grant peace our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, to whom 
So with thee and the Holy Ghost, we all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins, are in love and charity with your neighbor, and intend to lead the new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your tongue, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon the knees. Almighty God, all Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by God's word and deed against thy divine majesty. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the midst of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. Hear also what St. Paul said. This is a true saying worthy of all to perceive that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John said, If anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty everlasting God, Creator and Preserver of all things, who in the multitude of thy saints has compassed us about with so great a cloud of witnesses that we, rejoicing in their fellowship, may run with patience the race that is set before us, and together with them may receive the crown of glory that fadeth not away. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all that we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessing and glory and thanksgiving be unto thee, Almighty God, our heavenly Father. Who of thy tender mercy has given thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption? Who may bear by his one oblation of himself, once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memorial? of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, who is humble to seek you, and grant that we receive in these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed to pray, and when he had given thanks, he break it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for them, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of them.
Wherefore, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we, thy humble servants, with all thy holy church, remembering the precious death of thy beloved Son, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again in glory, do make before thee, in this sacrament, the holy bread of eternal life, and the cup of everlasting salvation, the memorial which he hath commanded. And we entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercy to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most calmly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And we pray that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. We do not presume to come to this thy table of merciful glory, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs into thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always in thy mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so that we the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep the feast. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee that Thou dost graciously feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food and most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, assuring us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are living members of His mystical body, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And here we offer and present a feeble ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice. And although we are unworthy, yet we beseech thee to accept this our vow and obedient service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost we are honor and glory. World without end. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Our recessional hymn is the hymn, I Sing a Song of the Saints of God. I sing a song of the saints of God, patient and brave and true, who toiled and fought and lived and died for the Lord they loved and knew. And one was a doctor, and one was a queen, and one was a shepherd, is on the green. They were all of the saints of God, and I think God helped me to be one too. They loved their Lord so dear, so dear, and his love made them strong. And they followed the right for Jesus' sake, the whole of their good thoughts long. And one was a soldier, and one was a priest, and one was slain by a fierce wild beast. And there's not any reason, no, not the least, why I should be one too. They live not only in ages past, there are hundreds of thousands still. The world is bright with the joyous saints who love to do Jesus' will. You can meet them in school, or in lanes, or at sea, in church, or in trade, or in shops, or at tea. For the saints of God are just folks like me, and I need to be one too. The Lord be with you. Let us go forth in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.